The game is basically an idea of a group of students. We came to the faculty and we basically pitched a project to them saying we want to make a serious game, a game which has serious content, meaningful ideas behind it. And it was a long process. At the end, we kind of convinced them that something like that is feasible. Peacemaker is a game in which you take the role of one of the leaders. You can take either the role of the Israeli Prime Minister or the Palestinian President. You can play both perspectives. And the idea is that as the leader, you have to react to real-time events happening in the world. You can negotiate with other leaders, but you also have security or military actions that you can take. And by doing so, you have to reach a peaceful solution while in office. I think the best aspect of playing this game is that, especially if you're a Palestinian student in the territories or an Israeli student within Israel, you, you get a chance to really feel what both sides are thinking and get a better sense of what they can do together to work towards peace. What we're doing next is basically uh, our first pilot in a classroom environment. And we have a great chance in Carnegie Mellon where there is a course that is taught at the same time in Pittsburgh and Qatar. The course is taught via video conference. And what we're doing there is testing the game in the classroom environment. The students will be playing with the game and reporting in essays about their experience. Being there actually gave us the chance to sit with the students and do more focused user testing. It gave us the chance to ask them questions such as, what are you thinking about when you're taking actions? What is actually determining the actions that you're taking? We've gotten a wide variety of feedback, such as, now I better understand why Israel does the security actions that they do. I understand how being that leader forces you to take actions that we may not support from the Arab perspective. The game not only allowed the students to express their views, but it gave them a better understanding of the other perspectives. It gave them a common ground that they could then use to help promote and facilitate an open dialogue about the issues. We have to remember that what we're doing here is an experiment. We're doing basically a prototype, a proof of concept. With a group of six students uh, over a few semesters, we don't expect to address all issues of the conflict. We don't expect to give all the answers. We're bringing up issues for discussion. We want to provoke thought. If you look at the video game industry today, there are so many games out there about violence, about war, about destructions. We say a simple thing. There is certainly a place for one little game about peace.